Hi there, this is the first in a series of videos on Gluster FS. We're going to be showing you how to make multiple web servers work together behind a load balancer to serve the same site. So this diagram shows the flow of information. So you have a website user, their request will come into the load balancer and that will distribute it to one of the web servers that are behind it. The web servers might get some information from the database. But what if the user first goes and hits web one and what does he do? He sends a login information to web one. Web one stores it in a session file. Then the user makes another request and it ends up going to web two. And he says, hey, give me that secret stuff that only logged in users can get. But web two doesn't know about web one session file, so he treats him as not logged in. We've got to solve that problem. These servers all need to know about the session files on those servers. Another example, what if the user comes in and he hits web 99 and he uploads a file and then his next request says, oh, I want to see that image that I just uploaded. So he comes in and he hits web 2. Where's that file? So all these servers need to share their files. So what are the files that the different web servers need to share in order to serve a single front in their application? So there's the PHP session files, Magento session files. These hook up uh, cookies when a request comes in to who's actually logged in. Um, static web content, like all your WordPress files, things that people upload, images, videos, and the Apache configuration. And uh, for example, you might have config.php in your web app, and you, you only want to change it once. You don't want to change it in every single web head. So with GlusterFS, we'll be sharing these files between all the applications. So that's the end of the introduction video. In the next video, we'll fire up a web server and install GlusterFS.